Hi guys, you're back here with Barry, and um, I had some time. For a while, we had, uh, for the last week, we had um, two different groups out, two different families actually, not groups, so we've been kind of busy with that, and now that uh, things are departed and setting back to normal, I thought I'd, you know, get an opportunity to do an article and a few more videos, and I thought I'd do a few more of the lesser uh, common areas in the region around Cabrera and La Entrada. Uh, I'm heading now which is a, a dirt road and uh, you do need a 4x4 four four on it so uh, just so you know there's some deep sand dunes like uh, there you go let me <laughs> I'm gonna shift her into four right now just give me a second okay back with you and um, this little area even though it's adjacent to Boca Beach it's called Sunshine Beach and not too many people venture out here but it is actually very pristine. Um, it will get crowded on long weekends and uh, other than that you pretty much have the entire place to yourself. I've uh, I've always liked uh, coming here. We, we've come here many times with uh, I'd say groups as big as 50 people and had a pig roast or a barbecue or something like that. So I thought it'd be kind of nice now that I had the time. Oh Barry loves to you know, bounce around the region. Uh, we'll be going away in May, actually. Uh, Johnny, Alduino, and myself, we're going to go away from anywhere from three to four days to cover some new areas. So I'm going to also uh, just do a little bit of in and out around Sunshine Beach. And then what I'm going to do is pick this up a little bit later. I'm going to take uh, this seaside road. It's sand, rock. Uh, you can really do it when the tide's low and it's calm. When it's rougher, it's not the kind of road you want to go because everything will be doused in salt water. But it is beautiful and it's uh, pristine. And people just don't take the time to appreciate all these little off the beaten trails where the nature's thick and there's hardly anybody. And uh, you know, you might see the odd uh, dump truck or a motorcycle, you know, hauling water or some other supply, but Really, that's going to be about the extent of it. So what I'm going to do, I'll do a quick circle around here. I'm going to then continue on to this road, and I'm going to head into Bioba. But I'm going to take it through the seaside road, not the paved route. And uh, I'm going to venture uh, back a different way. I will take a paved, and I'm going to pick this up later on the third video. I'm going to pick this up coming back, because we're going to travel down... Sunshine Beach uh, in the old 4x4. Four four. Uh, we're going to take Yoda down here, go between the trees and go through the sand on the shoreline because you're allowed to do that in all these beaches and that's another big plus for all you folks that love the nature part and a little bit of uh, mild to medium 4x4. Four four anyway, so I'm going to head back down the road. I'm going to cut camera in a minute or so and I'm going to pick it up a little bit further on down the line. Okay, so it's great to be back with you. I'm loving all the attention Something Feels Wrong YouTube channel and, and website is getting. And uh, we've got lots of folks coming for the summer, which is pretty cool. And uh, I really love you guys in the front seat right beside me. Kind of, it's uh, something I just have a passion on doing is I love the nature in this country. Okay, and well, there you go. There's a dump truck I was telling you about in a cycle. But anyway, uh, we'll pick this up in a bit. Well, guys, welcome back. You're here for uh, picking up here rather where I left off. Welcome back. I like to keep the videos anywhere from around three minutes to on the long side, six and a half, seven minutes. So we're going to do this in uh, probably three or four little short videos, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. But anyway, you're in the front seat alongside me, and we're continuing on. Um on a little cut road that uh, continues from Sunshine Beach and we're gonna take this video all the way uh, where the road kind of tees into in Bioba which is a sleepy little town, a little farm town not to confuse it with Boba which is down further, this is Bioba okay, Boba is a little fishing village anyway um, yeah, it's been a great week with these folks. Uh, you know, I enjoyed them a lot. It was a lot of fun. They were from Canada. And uh, I staggered it so I have about um, mm, some, somewhere around three weeks off, two and a half, three weeks off. So that's why we're going to be going away. I, I uh, needed some time to do some things around here, some maintenance on the vehicle, uh, get ready and... Uh, 
make sure all the filming and mechanical equipment's ready and uh, isn't going to let us down because they don't want to do that. Uh, and just kind of a little perk here, we may be heading into a new area that we've never covered before. Uh, I've been through it, but not in detail, but uh, the reason why we might be doing this is we might be shining a lot of our attention in that area from all of you folks that are looking for some of the best farmland that aren't necessarily looking for a, a, a an ocean coastline view, but would be very interested in some of the deepest, richest soil. Uh, things are really happening in this area in a big way in terms of agriculture, and we have uh, developed what I would say an inside source over the last 12 months. So we're going to be doing some videoing in that area. Not sure if it's going to be during this trip or not, but we're going to try and just do an introductory to it. Uh, there's a lot happening out there. There's a lot of European money, and uh, there's a lot of foreign money going there in agriculture. I'm just turning off here a bit. And this is, like I say, some of the most pristine sites you're going to see are off these off-beaten trails. That only makes common sense. But uh, there are areas of this a little further down that are nice. But that was a great example of when Oberry says that's Iron Shore. Okay, what you're looking at is Iron Shore. I uh, wouldn't even want to walk across that with, uh, with rubber-soled shoes. Honestly, because uh, some of that's like the razor rock, it'll go, it'll cut rubber soles, it's that, it's that sharp. Okay, but uh, continuing on, further on around the, around the bend here, it uh, turns into uh, nice deep sand without any rock. And uh, I really uh, haven't been out here for probably about a year, so I'm enjoying this probably as much as you guys. I'm going to pick up some speed, though. I want to get away from the spray, so I'm going to giddy up just for uh, probably about a quarter to a half mile here. Because this is all iron shore, like I said, and uh, it, uh, it's hard. The camera won't pick it up, but it is kicking up spray, and I, I sure don't need to be doing that. Uh, the, the equipment's rather costly, and uh, I want to keep making videos for you guys. Um, gosh, I guess we just uh, had an email that somebody else wants to come back in May, so that's good for another one. So May looks like it's shaping up and getting quite busy, too. Um, it was a, a really nice, a nice winter. Weather was beautiful. We had a fair amount of rain. Everything seemed to be in balance. It was cooler this winter. It's actually still cool now in the evenings. During the day, it's a bit more muggy. But um, now we're coming up... Um, on another nice little beach uh, and again this gets washed out when it's really uh, like I say an extreme high tide or any type of so uh, storm surge obviously you can see it but with a 4x4 four four, because of the sand dunes not because obviously the roughness but with a 4x4 four four with some decent ground clearance you shouldn't have any trouble for all you all you folks that want to venture and take these kind of roads um, it's the sand is soft so it's deep that's why you need the ground clearance and uh, it continues on, and you'll see how magically the iron shore is disappearing. It's turning into white, crystal, beautiful beach. And I'm going to make the hairpin turn, and we're getting really close to Bioba. So um, as we venture in, I'll cut camera. I'm going to head back in a different direction, but I'm going to pick it up where we were right around Sunshine Beach. And uh, then what we're going to do is uh, probably pop it down into four... Uh, four by four low head out on the sand a bit which is uh, you're allowed to do on almost all the beaches in this country and that is just awesome for all you folks that like motorcycles off-road cycles off-road vehicles dune buggies uh, it's awesome anyway we'll catch up with you real soon okay i'm going to pick this back up at sunshine beach all right till then for something feels wrong this is barry and dr we'll catch you real soon bye